the difficult thing would be to pick one single technology. It's tempting. It's tempting to say uh, big data. It's tempting to say cloud. Uh, I think that the biggest trend actually is the intersection of three things primarily, analytics, mobile, and social technologies that are now riding on the cloud in terms of ability to subscribe innovation and to scale that elastically, but wrapped in cyber so that I'm, I'm intelligent, I'm risk intelligent, I'm cyber intelligent in what I'm doing. So analytics plus mobile plus social, riding on the cloud, wrapped in cyber. Technology serves to help achieve the mission in a couple of ways. One, clearly it allows me scale and abstraction repeatability. The things we've done with information and technology with software systems for a long time. So there are still many things in the federal government mission, as broad as that is, where I still need to spend time automating what I need to do. Transactional solutions, business process automation, so-called ERP. That will give me scale, that'll give me repeatability, that'll give me the abstraction, right, virtualization. There's also the ability to automate what I need to do and with whom. So uh, information automation, adding the analytics and the mobile and the social that I mentioned earlier. And the idea there is not only doing what I do well, cheap and fast, but doing it smart, efficiently, and ultimately potentially net new, able to solve problems I wasn't able to solve before. Consumer technologies have played a huge role in enterprise large-scale technology over the past several years, and we've seen it. We've seen uh, consumer adoption of the mobile phone and then the tablet device. Of course, ironically, the mobile phone came grassroots bottoms up, the tablet came from the boardroom from the senior executive down, and the joke, but turns out to be true, is because I can read that without my glasses. So consumerization of the mobile device, consumerization of the mobile app, um, Consumer-driven forces around social network creation and the information exchange sharing and creation there. However, today, looking forward just a little bit, I think the most interesting consumer technology is around the maker revolution, the whole idea of maker technologies, and very specifically, three-dimensional printing, 3D printing. The challenge with the federal government embracing technology is we say the federal government as though it's a single, monolithic, uniform, understandable, describable thing, and it's not. It's a very, very complex, diverse, distributed business um, whose customers, constituents, whose um, mission, that is the strategy and the objectives, are very different from place to place. So to embrace technology is first to understand what I need to do, how it serves the business, what the best way is to do it, particularly if I have to bring a lot of legacy forward, and then what's over the horizon so that when I aim and I move, I'm not sort of behind the times in the, in the two, three, four years uh, later. So to best embrace technology, I think we need to be a little more granular when we say the federal government. It's not quite so grand or, I'm sorry, quite so monolithic as that. Um, we need to understand the, the real mission needs that aren't constrained by, I've never done it that way, or I've always done it this other way. And then we need, need to make sure we're looking a little bit forward as we apply the technologies, because the pace of change of technology is so high that it can actually outstrip my ability to deliver into the mission. The impact of technology to actual delivering the services of government, um, we will become more uh, virtual. So again, mobile and social, anytime, any place, to all the right people. Um, I think the other part of that is, however, we actually can go, what is the role of the constituency, what is, what is the role of technology in the constituency to government? So not just what is government doing for the, for the citizen, but what can citizen do with the government? And those same factors, the idea of mobile plus social on the cloud, cyber intelligence, so that I've got a propriety and security and encryption going on, um, it will make it actually a more participatory government. I believe it also can achieve what, what we've been seeking to achieve around these fusion centers with federal, state, local, and tribal fusion by treating a citizen as a citizen at each level and allowing them to participate in those very social networks.